it's a, just a sad day for yeah. our community. I mean, you have 100-year-old buildings mm -hmm. just demolished. Last night's severe weather bringing fierce winds to a lot of our viewing area and Williamson County was definitely hit the hardest. Hail, torrential rain and straight line winds, they saw it all and it left some mighty destruction, especially with some historic buildings. Leah McNeil leads off our coverage tonight. I think kind of an iconic thing for Bertram because they've been here so long. They withstood everything that has been thrown at it since, you know, over 100 years now. That's the sound of over 100 years of history crumbling to the ground. Longtime resident and city councilman Mike Dickinson says the old McGill building was vacant during the storm, but it was still filled with so much life. There used to be a grocery store, a Western store. Everybody bought their clothes here years ago here in town. It's heartbreaking to know that a piece of our community and our history is no longer going to be here for our children. Bertram Blends and Boutique was quickly becoming a crowd favorite, but overnight severe weather passed through the area and now this is all that's left. We get lunch here, smoothies, yeah. we do shopping, yeah. um, gifts. Sometimes I just go in there to say hi. Cherie Bridges and Stephanie Simmons were regulars at Bertram Blends. Simmons, who's a small business owner, sold some of her items in the store. She lost everything. And I commission a lot of my items in her store, so I'm actually personally losing business, but I'll, I'll be okay. <laughs> As they watch the buildings crumble around them, the two are just thankful no one lost their life. We're Bertram strong, and yeah. We will remain Bertram strong. Bertram will be all right. Yeah. Reporting in Bertram, Leah McNeil, 25 News.